So, we will move to the, the other interesting process. Okay. In friction welding what you saw there the job is rotating is not it the interface one of the interface is rotating all the time. There is no external pins or any other external member is rotating except in this uh, uh, radial friction welding where you have a uh, ring is rotating right. So, we can also achieve the heat by inserting a pin and make it rotated at the interface is not it. So, you take a simple nail insert it at the interface and then clamp it together and rotate the nail and there is also interface okay, between the nail and the interface is going to be heated up by the friction because of the rotation of the nail and ultimately once the material is softens because the nail is rotating a nail can be made into somewhat harder material and during this process when the nail rotates okay, heat is generated and interface ductility increases. So, when the nail is rotating it can also bring the material from one interface to other interface okay, causing a mechanical deformation at the interface and the material can be moved from one place to other place by the rotation of the nail right and this process is known as friction steer welding. Okay. So, you have a rotating tool and the interface and this tool is plunged into the interface initially and then it is rotated and during this rotation obviously there is a friction between the tool and the interface. So, the heat is generated because of the rotation of the pin at the interface the moment temperature is increasing the interface becomes softer. So, the tool the when it moves the temperature is high the interface can be deformed the rotating motion of the tool can deform the material from one interface to other interface okay. and during this process the interface becomes coalesced forming a joint right. So, this process is known as friction steer welding <coughs> and this is very commonly used uh, for aluminum alloys right. So, you need to make sure that the, the nail is inserted and subsequently the, the nail is rotated at the interface causing a frictional heat generation and subsequently the mechanical deformation by the motion of the rotation of the pin would cause the interface to coalesce. And uh, this process I mean is slightly complex than a uh, simple friction welding okay, because there are various process parameters which controls the, the welding properties. The, for example, the, the, um, the of course, we also have a, a force but there is no offsetting in this case is not it. So, what do you have it is a rotation of the pin right. So, the, 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 the force you apply would determine the well quality and apart from that you also have a pin the geometry of the pin. So, okay, so what are types of pins you can use and that to determine the flow of material from one interface to other interface is not it and that the pin geometry the pin surface characteristics would also determine the heat generation is not it. So, there are various other effects would also control the process stability than the friction welding the friction welding only 3 is not it the uh, rpm rotational speed the offset force and offset distance and here there is no offset distance there is no offset force. So, what do you have is a downward force okay, acting on the pin which is rotating at the interface okay. So, and we have we can see you know in a typical uh, uh, resistance part welding some nomenclatures. So, you need to have uh, a pin which is actually inserted plunged into the material and then uh, you have then the pin is rotated and you have the advancing side which is advancing side is. So, when the pin is moved along the clockwise yeah, suppose the pin is moving along clockwise. So, you have an advancing side and then when the pin is going you have a retracting side okay. So, when, when the pin is rotating so you are having an advancing of the motion and then retracting of the motion okay. So, we have two sides the advanced side advancing side and then retract, retracted side is not it okay. And then uh, we may also have 
the starting of the well, ending of the well. So, we have a leading side and then the trailing side. Is it? So, leading side is the front of the tool and the trailing side is the back of the tool. Right? So, we will see in, uh, in this process what are the stability uh, factors, okay, so how we can improve the stability, what are the forces that control the well characteristics. Right? And then we look at uh, some of the tool geometries and some of the advantages and disadvantages of this process. So, if you look at uh, the uh, process parameters, those are controlling the, the well characteristics in friction steel welding is the first rotational speed of the tool itself, okay, RPMs, how fast you are going to rotate, okay. And then welding speed because uh, in this case the pin is moved along the interface, whether you are doing it really slowly, you are doing faster, so that will also determine your well, the well quality, is not it and also well bead geometry. And then the, the profile of the, the, the shoulder itself, what do you mean by shoulder? So, if you have pin like this and the shoulder, how you make the shoulder? So, you can be flat shoulder, I can also see also um, in a, with an uh, edges, I can also be in various configurations because that is also going to affect the frictional heat generation as well as the mechanical deformation. Similarly, the pin profile, the shape of the pin, okay, so whether it is in a simple circular or you also have helical or you may also have an uh, hexagonal and various pin profiles and you, you can use it to achieve uh, required uh, uh, building uh, characteristics. And the size of the pin with respect to the shoulder, okay, okay, that will also determine the process characteristics and the material itself, so on what material you use it to make these pins and uh, these shoulders. So generally, the friction cell welding is uh, commonly used only for uh, aluminum alloys because steels and uh, uh, the other material, it is very difficult to uh, weld using friction steel because of the problem with the pin itself because for welding steel obviously, you know steel is stronger than aluminum and you also generate more in, uh, heat if you want to do friction steel uh, weld uh, to steel plates. So, the pin should withstand the temperatures, right. So, you will have to make a very, very expensive uh, uh, tooling with an, uh, a ceramic coating for example, or tool itself is made of uh, tungsten carbides or some uh, carbides so that the, the, the pin does not deform or does not heat up, uh, does not buckle. And then angle of insertion, it can be vertical or it can also be slightly inclined. Okay, so, that will also determine the, uh, the, the well characteristics and then uh, you may also have a preheating and cooling, okay, that will also influence the welding characteristics and the plunge depth. Okay, so, at what depth you are going to actually insert the pin to the, uh, the, in the interface, right. So, it can be in a, a full thickness or you can also make an off thickness, make sure that the material is heated up much more then uh, uh, you know when you are doing a full insertion so that you, know, you will also have a mechanical deformation with the uh, unplunged region as well, okay. So, these are all the process characteristics commonly varied to achieve the desired uh, well geometry. So, I, have, I got a video from TWI where uh, the weld uh, aircraft fuse lots, okay. So, this is the brand electrostir, erostir they call it. So, this is the, the flap on, okay. So, when you see, when you sit next to the, the window uh, on top, of, I mean next to the uh, wing, you see that flap on is going up and down, right and that is made of aluminum. So, the aluminum 5000 series I think, okay. So, so this is getting welded, I mean TWI and this is for Airbus, okay. So, you see, so this structure is the flap on structure, okay. So, what you see over here is the, the tool is rotating, uh, so it is uh, DOS, I will just uh, fast forward it. So, this is a flap around structure is going to be friction welded. So, 
So, this is the, uh, uh, the tool and the pin and they are going to align that. So, you see this process. So, this is the shoulder, what do you look at it? Okay, shoulder is extending and then pin is plunged into the base material and this is rotated causing the mechanical deformation. And this is a very simple process. Okay, so, you do not need a, a complex physics to understand the, the arc, plasma, ignition, ionization. Okay. So, all you have is the, the tool is rotating. I think we will wind up here and then we will see in the subsequent uh, next class the more physics of this process. <laughs>